Good afternoon, traders. This is Anka Metcalf with Trade Out Loud. Welcome to the Futures Market Outlook for the week starting with today, Sunday, January 27th, 2019. It is 321 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're less than three hours away from uh, the market open. Uh, let's begin with NASDAQ. NASDAQ has had some relative strength uh, throughout this week and has had a really nice continuation higher. Uh, this is the weekly chart. Uh, this activity, you could see a big, big, big bottoming tail here, pretty much a nice pin uh, that has found support into this minor cluster to the left hand side. Daily chart uh, had a pullback buy into this conjunction between the 50 simple moving average and the 10 simple moving average. It had reversed, and once the price uh, erased the 67.25 level, it came back into the prior resistance into the 6800 and in fact this is where it's topping right now and it's trying to erase this now the fact that we have not really pulled back and we had a very strong Friday means that we're really trying to take out these highs into the 6820 in order to advance higher now this resistance is not only deriving from this prior high into this uh, from 6820 20 to 25 from uh, uh, January the 18th, but it's actually coming from this prior pivot high on December 12th, and this is actually the place where the price has rotated to the downside. So it is a very hard area to uh, take out. So it's very sensitive. It's going to be highly turbulent, but if we break over uh, Friday's high and we try to erase the 6820 to 25, we have a further we have further continuation higher. We actually have a pretty clean, clear tradable void all about all the way into the 7000 level. Uh, alternate targets along the way are going to be into the 6850 level. We're going to have targets into the uh, 6915 along the way. We're going to have also targets into the 6950 and all the way into 7000. So things are not going to be as smooth and easy, but we'd still have a really nice tradable void. And we could uh, definitely trade in stages all the way into the 7000. So the way the price structure and the chart structure uh, is represented on the daily chart suggest a much higher continuation at least into the 7000 where we also have uh, these prior highs uh, from December from October and also we have a flat 200 simple moving average now moving forward for the overnight trading session uh, this is uh, where we left off on Friday into the close and we have a really nice pullback buy off the 10 exponential moving average we have been riding the 10 exponential uh, 10 exponential average uh, train uh, uptrending all the way in the overnight trading session and into uh, pretty much into the first uh, into the beginning of the session on Friday and then things uh, seem to be pretty much shaky here <laughs> shaky in terms of sideways so no other continuation higher. So as long as we're holding the support into the 6775, we could still see a push over 6800. That is gonna bring uh, small uh, small targets into the 20 and the 28. And then we're gonna continue with the targets that I have just mentioned. Let's move on to the M&E S&P. Uh, and uh, we're gonna begin with the monthly chart. Monthly chart, very, very, oops, hold on. Monthly chart very strong, actually trading within December's really big bar. Uh, the 34 simple moving average caught the price, projected it higher. And as you can see right now, the price is trading into the 20 simple moving average and the 10 exponential moving average is actually coming right in. So the more we're gonna gravitate into this area, we're gonna see this dynamic moving average, the 10 exponential that is gonna come in a little bit deeper, steeper here into the 70 zone. Uh, the way we are shaping up on the monthly chart, we should be still looking for a further continuation higher. 2700 is the next target level weekly chart. Uh, also very strong. You can see that we left this pin behind uh, this week. And if we break above this high, uh, the high is actually uh, actually 2673.5. We need uh, 75, 2373.75 in order to project higher back into the 2700 and even 2711. Uh, back to the daily chart. The daily chart has a pretty nice looking bull conjunction here, a bull clusters, bull flag. We do have a lot of support into the 2625 zone. If we break above this cluster high into the 70, 72, uh, then we could see further price continuation higher into the 7200 and uh, back into the 7250 area. So it looks very good for 
uh, continuation higher immediate uh, action for the open as long as the support level is going to hold at the 26.57 we can still look for a continuation higher if we trigger the 26.67 level for a continuation higher uh, for about three to four points into the 70 to 71 and then continuation back into the 77 which is the prior high that uh, that we had into last uh, last friday let's continue with uh with ym and uh ym we're gonna go back to the monthly chart monthly chart very strong you can see that it's tapping onto the 24700 this is the 10 exponential moving average if we cross over this moving average over 24 uh 24 800 then we still have room for a continuation higher and we have plenty of room because the next profit target level is going to be uh 25000 and 25600 this is on a macro level. Now, going to the weekly level, we saw the pin here. We still have a lot of turbulence above into the 25,000 level. The fact that the price is residing and we took out the prior, uh, the prior week, so this week we took out the prior week, means that the price may be ready for a continuation higher. If the price is gonna trigger over 24,830, we can have a progression higher all the way to the 2500 and then again we open up to a much large tradable void at least into the 25400 uh, daily chart pull back by throughout this week more like a, a bull flag at this level you can see that uh, the mini Dow stronger on Friday took off this prior high from uh, for, for the whole entire week setting a new high for the week and actually still has room into this flat 200 simple moving average into the 25,000 25,000 is going to be a big area to uh, to erase so the more the more the, the more uh, bullish the price is going to be at this price point and the stronger we're going to be into Monday Tuesday uh, then we can see a further continuation over 25,000 all right immediate price action for this overnight trading session if you should trade the overnight trading session we have a lot of support into the 25638 and we do have a uh, resistance uh, into the 24750 we cross above the 24750 we open up uh, a nice tradable void area all the way into this prior high of 830 and higher and this is immediate price action for the overnight trading session uh, let's move on into Russell. Russell has been very active on Friday, and uh, we're going to go to the monthly chart. Monthly chart constructive, moving back into the minor resistance. 1500 is going to be that line in the sand. So the bullish or bearish, things are going to be pretty much decided at this 1500 because this is a minor resistance level deriving from this prior price action from last year. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's move on right now to the weekly charts and the weekly charts suggesting still very bullish price action activity. Uh, I like the fact that last week and this week was very constructive into taking out the minor resistance from the 1460 to 1470. We chewed up really well that zone. We're landing back into the 1480 and change. And uh, once we're gonna trade above this high, the high is 1486.6, we need to see a print of seven, eight, and then we're off to the races to the 1500 and into the 1512. This is gonna be the next turbulence zone. So for immediate price action, continuation higher going into the overnight trading session same setup on the daily chart sitting up with those pullback buy of and also into resistance right here uh if we take out these highs like i mentioned before the numbers that i mentioned before we're gonna have a pretty nice open void to 1500 and even opens up a much larger void for about 60 points from where we are trading right now so that is an impressive move for russell so russell definitely needs to be on our list for uh for this week hourly chart we could see that we have pretty much formed a nice base with a 1480 as support support is actually below and into the area of 1479 to 1480 uh, we topped off here into the 1486, very close to this prior high. As you can see, actually, it's much stronger than all the indices that we have talked about right now because uh, we do have very little room into this prior high of 1489.7. We're actually trying to dissolve the fact that we're basing here. We're just trying to take out this prior high and trembling for higher price action, like I've mentioned before. So if the overnight trading session is going to take out the 1485 level, I think we're off to the races back into the 90 back to the 1500 and open void into the 1550 so price action looks very good for a continuation higher uh, let's talk about oil and uh, definitely we're going to start with the top-down analysis starting with uh, starting with the monthly chart monthly charts getting ready to 
uh, reverse uh, the high of last week of last month uh, sorry about that last month we had a high of 5455 uh, now this high uh, 5451 so far okay so we're trying to do this reversal right here but we still have a lot of selling pressure from this prior high right here that it was back in February of 2018 and this is creating some selling pressure at this point so things are gonna be a little bit choppy right here we just need to see the pattern work 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 and break through uh, break through this 55 level once we break uh, I'm sorry the 50 uh, 54 level once we break through the 54 level Level, I think we're going to be 54 to 54 50 we're going to be off to the races 60 it looks like we have a target close to uh, close to $60 I think that the next trouble zone is going to be back into the 57 uh, and if we cross the 57 then we're going to have a pretty much clear trajectory uh, uh, right into the 60 now uh, let's go to the weekly charts a weekly chart we have a nice uh, a nice uh, slice through this 200 simple moving average the fact where we had closed well above the 200 simple moving average we're actually trying to break above these highs right here so this is what the price is working on right now so 55 dollars and above we're gonna look for further continuation higher back into the 56 back into the 58 dollars that's gonna be the first turbulence zone uh all this is weekly chart daily charts you're gonna see that we're making higher highs so we made a low last year no um, um sorry in december same with the market so it has been following the market really well it's odd but it is it has been following the market i remember the last time when i saw this was back in 2016 in january february and march so we had a low here on december 24th we reversed we created the first higher low second higher low and right now we're tap we're actually getting ready for the third higher low on a break of these highs uh over 54 dollars and 50 cents we're going to be off to a major race all the way to 57.50 and also to the $60 and close to the 63. So they uh, oil definitely is technical, technically wise, looks relatively uh, strong at this point. Uh, let's talk about gold and uh, let's uh, go back to the monthly chart. Gold has been has has had a very constructive one, two, three, four months. Uh, it's trading right now into the 1302. Well, guess what? Uh, what we had going on in gold in the last minute of the day, we just uh, popped up about five points. So it's trading right now, it closed at 1302.5. As you can see right here, erasing all these three weeks right here. You can see that for the last three weeks, pretty much a whole month of January, uh, we have been uh, we have been really really tight into this area. We have been balancing back and forth, back and forth. So the first time we pinched in a little bit, slingshot, and then released uh, pressure to the upside. We still have room for uh, for the 13, 1309 and thirteen ten level. That's going to be the thirteen uh, thirteen is going to be a high turbulence level for gold as well. It's not going to be an easy pattern. Uh, all right, so let's move on to the daily chart right now. This is uh, this is on Friday. We had a nice pullback by release. We had tons of resistance along the way into the 85. We had resistance into the 88. We had resistance into the 90s. The fact that this bar, this rocket bar, has dissolved all the price action to the left hand side, it just means that it is ready to make new highs. But guess what? Back into resistance from this prior high right here from last year. So things are going to become a little bit more choppy again. Uh, let's go to the four hour chart right now. We could see an acceleration of one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five five bars to the upside on the four hour chart and also on the one hour chart so we finished very very strong we definitely uh have uh, had a very shallow pull back here into an area of minor support where we have uh, reversed and continuation higher so right now i would leave gold if you're not in in this trade just let it trade because you don't have an entry just yet you'd have to wait for a pullback otherwise there's no entry all right uh natural gas uh natural gas um let me just point it out here and start with the monthly chart okay monthly chart natural gas back down to this week has been has had a little bit of constructive move back from the three dollar price point area into the 317 nothing impressive so far the weekly chart uh if we're gonna trade over three dollars and uh 30 361 so basically 362 this is gonna be the trigger for higher i'm gonna place an alert 
Uh, and we may try to go back higher, but first target into the 350. It's not going to be a, first, a big first target. We're going to see what's going to happen with this big uh, snowstorm that is uh, go pretty much going to be uh, all, all the northern part of the U.S. is going to be covered in snow and, you know, very, very, very uh, 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 much cold air it's, uh, and a lot of cold air, Arctic air, what I meant to say. All right, so it's going to be covered with uh, with snow and freezing, uh, freezing uh, temperatures, etc. Uh, maybe we could see a natural gas spike up a little bit uh, with this. Other than that, I really am not going to watch anything in particular. For those of you that like to trade it more so onto these uh, smaller time frames, if it breaks over the 320, has a bit of a room into the 323, and if it dissolves that area back into the 330, but it's still going to be so it still has this. Uh, quite small tradable void into the 330 zone right here all right uh, the, uh one uh one last symbol and this is bonds uh and we're gonna start with the monthly chart as usual monthly chart is leaving a bottoming tail right here now don't forget that from the monthly perspective we have pretty much a sloppy i would say uh head and shoulders where this is the head this is the right shoulder this is the left shoulder this is the neckline so we're still dealing with this resistance at the 146 level uh we really need to see it trade over 146 to, to gain some strength and try to rotate back into the 150s other than that uh this week is uh has left a bit of weakness you could see it right here and i'm sorry this is the month uh, and the weekly, here it is, and the weekly topping out right here. If we cross over uh, the, the 155 level, so I'm going to put an alert right here. Uh, if we break over the 155 level, then we're going to pretty much break uh, higher. And if we break uh, the 152 level, let's create an alert here. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, here it is. Okay, so if we break below these lows right here of 144, what was I talking about? This is kind of weird into the 150s. Okay, so let's put the alert below. Okay, we break this level below the 144. We're going to continue back lower and the ride is going to be bumpy because we have a lot of support underneath at different levels into the 143s. Uh, in the upper 143s and the lower 143s into the 142s, 141s. It's going to be a hell of a ride right here. It's going to be super, super bumpy right here uh, with all the way into the 142 and 141. Uh, actually, if this week, uh, and we'll see what uh, the FOMC meeting is going to bring, but if we break over to 145.30 level, uh, so basically the 146 level, so I'm going to be looking at the 146, we're going to basically continue higher. And once the price is going to peak above this level and it's going to pop higher, I think on any pullback into the 146, we're going to be talking on a constructive move back into the 150s. Okay, so this is going to be looking pretty good. Uh, from the daily perspective, range, nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. We're still basing at the December, end of December lows right here into the 144. We had a trade uh in december uh actually in january was the first uh, first trade in january the 146 by 144 projection higher and we're back into the same level again so we're going to be looking at the same trade 146 by 144. all right this is all for now hope you all are going to have a great and fantastic profitable trading week ahead don't forget that we're going to be expecting a lot of turbulence from the fomc meeting minutes and also all the stocks that are going to be reporting they're going to be fueling uh, our uh, futures indices. We have a brand new class that is starting tomorrow on January 28th. Uh, we are offering this time, this is gonna be the only time where we're gonna, when we are doing this, uh, it is going to be a one extra week of education. It is the swing trading class for futures. Uh, and uh, basically we're trading, we are gonna be teaching the power income day trading class and also the power income futures swing trading class. It's gonna be a two week event, Monday through Friday. The classes are uh, taught every evening from six o'clock to eight p.m. Eastern. Uh, class starts again tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, at noon Eastern time. It's going to be the deadline, the registration deadline. So if you still, you still have a little bit of time uh, to sign up uh, with the class, you also get 60 days of live trading lab in the trading room. So you're going to be trading with me for 60 days. This is the only time when we are going to be offering the 60 day live trading lab. 
uh, again. So uh, this is the first class of the year. I just want to make sure that all the traders that want to trade with us have a great head start. I think there are going to be some tremendous uh, swing trading opportunities and futures and uh, some really great trading opportunities, day trading opportunities as well. And uh, this is the only time when we're going to offer it at this special price. If you want more information, you can email us at info at traderlaw.com. We will send you the full class curriculum and more information. And if you want, uh, if you want a 15 minute free consultation, we still have some uh, two actually slots available for tomorrow. So if you want to uh, speak directly to me tomorrow from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, and that's pretty much it. Um, so excited about this new class. Thank you so much. Uh, we almost have a full class. So uh, we actually, I, I, we don't take a lot of students, but we have only two spots left. So uh, if you want to fill those spots on, go right ahead. Uh, send us an info, uh, send us your info at tradeoutloud.com. Uh, and um, looking forward to seeing you in class. Thanks so much, guys. Have a profitable trading week. It's going to be a fantastic week. Thanks.